the Sonoma County wine industry continues to be recognized for quality, innovation, and integrity, thanks in large part to the icons we honor today. Each of our icons has dedicated their lives to creating a body of work that reflects their commitment to exacting standards, timeless winery and vineyard practices, and the pursuit of excellence. Their vision has helped shape our industry. Their generosity sustains our community. Enterprising, hardworking, and full of energy, Helen Bacigalupi brought a wealth of work experience and educational accomplishments to the Sonoma County wine scene in the 1950s. She and her husband Charles settled in Healdsburg, and after achieving success as a pharmacist, Helen applied her know-how to become the official ranch keeper for their property on West Side Road. In 1973, Helen and Charles sold 14 tons of Chardonnay to Napa Valley's Chateau Montalena. The fruit was transformed into just under half the blend of the famous Chardonnay that bested the French in the famed 1976 Judgment of Paris. For the next 40 years, Helen would oversee her prized vineyards, demanding the same high quality from each vine and expecting the same discipline from the wineries that bought her grapes. In 2016, Helen and her family are celebrating the 60th anniversary of her famed Russian River Valley Vineyard. Under her watchful guidance, this revered property continues to be a quality benchmark for Sonoma County Vineyards. Tom Klein's love of wine, sense of personal integrity, and entrepreneurial spirit created the perfect trifecta that would shepherd Rodney Strong Vineyards onto the world stage when he and his family purchased the winery in 1989. As a longtime proponent of Sonoma County and passionate steward of the land, Tom has led the way on sustainable practices in the wine industry. Rodney Strong Vineyards was the first carbon neutral winery in Sonoma County, and it boasts one of the largest solar energy systems found at any winery in the world. The team at Rodney Strong Vineyards continues to comb through the winery and vineyards acre by acre to ensure that they are taking every imaginable step to preserve our local ecosystem. In addition, Tom and his family believe in giving back. The clients are major supporters of dozens of charities focused on education, the arts, the environment, feeding the needy, mentorship for the disadvantaged, and disaster relief. Tom was instrumental in launching the Sonoma Harvest Wine Auction's Fund the Future program for children's literacy and has been a longtime supporter of the Luther Burbank Center for the Arts. The true embodiment of what a great leader should be, Tom Klein sets an example for excellence in business, environmental stewardship, and generous giving. Armed with the unshakable belief that the Dry Creek Valley was an extraordinary growing region, David Raffinelli led the charge for the Dry Creek Valley to become its own appellation in 1983. His successful campaign left an indelible impact on the Dry Creek Valley and helped all of the vintners and growers there earn worldwide recognition for quality. A third generation member of the Raffinelli family of Healdsburg, David worked side by side with his father, Americo, as both winemaker and grape grower. In 1987, his father passed away, and David and his wife, Patty, took over the family business. A farmer at heart, David's deep knowledge of soils and microclimates guides him to plant vineyards that produce exemplary wine grapes. His ability to envision innovative solutions inspired him to engineer wine caves for barrel storage one of the first in Dry Creek Valley. Under his leadership, A. Raffinelli Wines fulfilled an important role in securing Dry Creek Zinfandel's position in the wine world, all while staying focused on producing small lot, prestige wines that are beloved by both critics and wine lovers. When one of your wines is named the best Pinot Noir in America by the Wine Spectator, you know you're on to something. Such was the realization of Tom Rocchioli when Rocchioli Vineyard's first estate wine, the 1985 Pinot Noir, 
made a dramatic entrance on the world stage. Tom is the son of vineyard pioneer Joe Rocchioli, who, against everyone's advice, was the first to plant Pinot Noir in the Russian River Valley. Joe Rocchioli's vineyards were a success by every measure, and Tom envisioned the next phase of evolution for the family business, creating a wine under the Rocchioli name. Like his father before him, who had the foresight to see that the Russian River Valley had the potential to grow world-class vines, Tom saw that Rocchioli Winery was perfectly positioned to become the standard bearer for the region's wines. The effort was a triumph, and Rocchioli Winery, under Tom's leadership, has continued to craft critically acclaimed wines since its very first vintage. As a third-generation winemaker, Tom carries on the significant contributions to farming and winemaking that both his father and grandfather have made over the years. A quiet leader who seeks neither spotlight nor fanfare, Tom continues to work every day on behalf of his family winery, his Sonoma County colleagues, and our entire community. Helen Bacigalupi, Tom Klein, David Raffinelli, and Tom Rocchioli continue to inspire the Sonoma County wine industry through their commitment, leadership, and generosity. We raise a glass to their achievements and thank them for their dedication and vision.